Hi, let's solve one previous question of parsing. This question is from LL1. I already discussed how to construct LL1 parse table. Just go through that video. You can easily solve this question. So what is the question? Here a partial LL1 parsing table is given. One grammar is given. Here just grammar description is given. And E1, E2, E3, these are blank. These are not written. And it is asking the appropriate entry for E1, E2 and E3 are and in 4 option 4 entry is given for E1, E2, E3. Let's check which one is correct. This is the interlinked question with question number 52. I already discussed question number 52. Just go through that. Question number 52 was just asking about first and follow. Here this question is asking about E1, E2 and E3. So let's first find first and follow. Now what will be first of S? First of S will be A, B and epsilon. What will be fall of S? Fall of S will be fall of A and fall of S will be fall of B. What is fall of A? Here B and A. And it will also be dollar as this is the start symbol. So first of S will be A, B, epsilon. And fall of S will be A, B, dollar. Next find first of A. First of A will be first of S. First of S we already found that is A, B, epsilon. Then what will be fall of A? Fall of A will be B and A. Just write down first of A is A, B, epsilon. And fall of A is A, B. Next what is first of B? First of B will be first of S. First of S is A, B, epsilon. Then what will be fall of B? Fall of B will be fall of S. What is fall of S? It is A, B and dollar. So first of B will be A, B, epsilon and fall of B will be A, B and dollar. Let's do one by one row. First we will do for S row. Now for S there are three production. First of S is A due to this production or you can say first of this part is A. So S derive A, A, B, B that we will write in a column or you can say in place of e1 here we will write s derive a a b b now i will write this production first of this is b so we'll write s derive b a a b in e2 you'll write here s derive b a a b now there is a epsilon production. So where will write this epsilon production? S derive epsilon. That will write in fall of S. What is fall of S? It is A, B and dollar. So here also will write S derive epsilon. And here also will write S derive epsilon. So S derive epsilon that will be under A column, B column and dollar column. It will be also part of E1 and E2. So finally what E1 contain? E1 contain S derive A, A, B, B plus S derive epsilon. Then what E2 contain? E2 contain S derive B, A, A, B plus S derive epsilon. Now we will find for E3. E3 is in B row. What is first of B? First of B is A, B and epsilon. So this production B derive S that will be in A column in B column. Next there is a epsilon. When there will be epsilon we will find the follow. So follow of B is A, B and dollar. So this production B derive S that will be in A column plus B column plus in dollar column. So here you will write B derive S. So B derive S that will go under A, B and dollar also. E3 will contain B derive S. Now check which option is correct. Option A, S derive A, A, B, B, correct. Then A derive S, this is wrong. Here it will be S derive epsilon. Here it is given A derive S, so this is wrong. Then option B, S derive A, A, B, B, correct. Then S derive epsilon, correct. Then check E2, S derive B, A, A, B, correct. S derive epsilon, correct. Then E3 S derive epsilon. This is wrong. E3 will contain B derive S. So due to this it is wrong. Next check C. E1 S derive A, A, B, B, correct. S derive epsilon, correct. 
Then A2, H derive B, A, A, B correct. H derive epsilon correct. Then E3, B derive S. This is correct. Then check option D, E1, A derive S. This is wrong. We found option C is correct. So answer will be option C. I already discussed LL1 parsing table. Just go through that lecture. You can easily solve this question. If this lecture is helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Thank you.